We're going to troubleshoot SteelSeries Arctis 7. No sound issues. 1. First, check the most obvious things. Make sure your headset is turned on. The power button is usually on the ear cup. 2. Verify the headset is properly connected to your device. Check the wireless dongle is securely plugged into your PC or console. If using a Bluetooth connection, ensure it's paired and connected. 3. Check the volume levels. Make sure the volume on your headset, your computer or console, and within any applications you're using are all turned up. Don't forget to check the mute button on the headset itself. 4. Examine the audio output settings on your computer or console. Make sure your SteelSeries Arctis 7 is selected as the default audio output device. You can usually find these settings in your system sound settings. 5. Test the headset on a different device. If you have another computer, phone, or gaming console, try connecting the Arctis 7 to see if the sound works there. If it does, the problem lies with your original device's settings or drivers. 6. Update or reinstall the SteelSeries GG software. This software often provides crucial updates for your headset's firmware and drivers, which might solve the sound problem. Download the latest version from the SteelSeries website if necessary. 7. Check your device's audio drivers. Outdated or corrupted drivers are a common cause of audio problems. Visit your computer manufacturer's website to download and install the latest audio drivers. 8. Try different USB ports. Some USB ports may provide insufficient power or have connection issues. Try plugging the wireless dongle into a different USB port on your computer or console. 9. Check for physical damage. Inspect the headset, the dongle, and the connection cables for any visible damage, such as bent pins or frayed wires. 10. Lastly, consider a factory reset. The Steel Series. Arctis the 7th of May have a software glitch. Resetting it to factory settings can resolve this. You'll likely find instructions for how to perform a factory reset in the headset's manual or on the Steel Series website. If none of these steps resolve the issue, contact Steel Series support directly for further assistance. They may offer more advanced troubleshooting steps or determine if the headset requires repair or replacement.